Hello friends, welcome to today's tutorial. Today we are going to learn how to make a voice call from the Spring Boot application to mobile phone. So here I will guide you how to build such type of application from where you can make a call to any person sitting anywhere in this world. So for this purpose I am using the third party tool named Tilio which provides a feature to make a voice call as well as to send the text message or the SMS. In the previous video, I explained you how to send a text message from the Spring Boot application. So in this tutorial, let's learn how to make a voice call from the Spring Boot application. So here I have written all the steps which required to build this type of the application. So just what you need to do? Just follow the step by step and you will able to achieve this feature in your application. So step number one, we have to create a project from the Spring Initializer. So just open the tab and search for Spring Initializer. Open it, give the group name. Give the artifact ID name. And click on generate button. See here the project is start downloading. Once it is downloaded, just go and unzip it. And extract the project. See here I have extracted the project. Just go to the workspace in the ID. I am using Eclipse. I will click on input. And here I am importing the project. See it is importing. All right. It imported in my Eclipse workspace. Just go into the article and see the, what is the next step. Step number two, click on generate button. Yes, we have done. Three is step number three is also completed. Step number four, we have to add that Tulio dependency in pom.xml file. So what you have to do, just go and search Tulio dependency. You will get the official link of Tudio. Just go there. And here you can get the dependency. If you are using the Maven project, just select this dependency. Otherwise, you can go with the Gradle project if you are using Gradle. So I'm using Maven. Just copy it and go here, palm.xml file. So go to the dependency part. I'm going here. I'm, I will paste it here. Okay, let's uh, properly arrange it. Okay, done. Now jump to the another step number five. In the step number five, we need to sign up to the Tulio account. Once you sign up, you will get the account SID number, you will get the auth ID, and you will get your Tulio phone number. So actually, Tulio phone number is the number when you register for the first time in the on the Tulio account, they will ask you for your correct valid mobile number. Once you provide the mobile number, they will generate the new mobile number or new number for you. So it is only used for the Tulio purpose. Okay, to make a voice call or to make a send a SMS from the Tulio account. So let's see how it will look, interface, how it's going to be look. So once you come here, this is the login page. Or if you are going to sign up, just click on the sign up for free. Yes, it's free. Once you sign up, you will able to see the dashboard. See here in the dashboard, you will get a trial number. Since my account is in the trial, it is not a premium account. I am using the trial account. So they provided me the trial number. This is my phone number. Okay. And see here. It is also provided the account SID number. At the same time, we also got an auth token. So these are the three important parameters we are just going to use in our Spring Boot application. So let's see in the next step. 
step number 6 inside the spring main class declare the following following parameters what are the sid number okay that your tulio sid number okay and the auth id and from number this from number will be this one wait a second this number this should be the from number like you are the person you want to send a sms to or to make a call to any person then this is your number this is your tulio number so you have to put it in the variable name from number and in the to number to whom you want to make a call just mention the mobile number of that person okay so we'll see here one of the, uh, one main very important point i have noted note down here makes you that mobile number should so start with the country code for example if you are making a call to indian mobile number then it should be start from plus 91 but if you are from the usa then you have to mention plus 1 for india plus 91 for usa plus 1 similarly for other countries so let's uh, jump into the our code and move into the main class so this is uh, this is the main class now what i am going to do i will just copying it or you can write with yourself so i am just copying it all the parameters and i will put on here okay now see it is giving error because we did not provide the semicolon semicolon last at the end so here you have to mention your account sid number auth id number from number and the to number in place of this text okay so now come to the next step step number seven initialize the tulo account with account sid and auth id with the static block okay so in the next step i am going to initialize this tulo account in our spring boot application so i am just pasting it here i put down in the static block because once the you run this application at the time of class loading only this uh, this block will be get executed and it will initialize the tulo in our spring boot application okay done come to the step number eight add the method in the spring boot main class to make a voice call this is the very important method you need to add so to make a call okay this is the important method so where you are going to add we for this purpose i will uh, implement a one interface here application runner i will tell you why i am implementing this So just fix the input and see it is giving error. Why it is giving error? Because it's, it is the interface you need to override the method. See it provide a run method. So it provide a run method. So what I am going to do? I will copy this creator method and place it in this method. So why I am placing this all the main logic, this is the main business logic to make a call. Alright, so why I am placing in the run method because the advantage of using the application run, runner. So when, whenever you run this application, right, how to run, right click, run as Java application. Whenever you run this application, the, this method, run method will get executed. Like it automatically get executed. So I what I want. When you run the application, this Tulo account should be initialized. It should be initialized in your Spring Boot application. At the same time, after the initialization, already this run method will get called or triggered, and it will automatically make a call to the mobile number, whatever you mention the mobile number to whom you want to make a call. So see here, in the phone number is the object new phone number. We are passing the argument like this this is the parameter we are passing the object of phone number in the creator creator method okay so call is the class which is present 
in the Tulio library. Okay, if I import it, you will able to see the package from where we got the call call object. Okay, so here I'm calling the creator method and I'm passing the object of phone number. In that, I'm passing the two number. Two number variable should contain the number to whom you are want to make a call. In the in the second parameter, we are passing the from number. This should be your number which is created by Tulio. All right, and this is the voice call. This is the message. Actually, this is the message. Since I am using the trial account of Tulio, so I can't put my custom voice voice. Okay, so I am using the Tulio voice auto generated voice. So once you have written this, now this is all you required in the Spring Boot main class. Come to here in the step number nine. Our final Spring Boot main class will look like as shown below. And here I explain each and every line of code why I am using the application runner, what is the purpose of run method, everything I explain. If you want, just go through this paragraph, you will understand. See so here, this is our main class. Spring Boot main class. Once it is done, note make sure all the imported packages should be same as in the above code. Okay, why I am I have written that because if I see here, if I just touch this thing, you will get the Tulio. You, you will able to import it. Now come to the phone number. See here, it is giving total one, two, three, four, five suggestions, but you have to be be careful to import from the proper package so let's see phone number belongs to which package here i have mentioned here phone number should be from the tulio dot type okay just go here and select the this last one okay you got the package which required now come to the call here also it is giving one, two, three, four suggestion, but we required the first one. So make sure that you importing the correct package. For URI, it is also giving the three. Just you import the java.net from the java.net for URI. So alright, we fixed all the imports. Now come to the next step. Step number 10, run the application, you will definitely get a call on the number as you mentioned in the variable to number. Okay, so this is the final step. Once you run the application, you will able to send a, or you will able to call, make a call to the person to whom you mentioned the mobile number. So let's jump into the clips and run the application. So here before running to the application, I will show you this is my screen. This is my mobile phone home page screen. So when I run the application, I definitely got a call if our code is correct. Okay, so let's see. Go to here, run and click on run. Let's open this screen. See, it is started running. See here, I got a started Spring Boot application means it just started running. I should definitely get a call. So it is taking some time. Yeah. See here, I got a call. I will receive it. See, can you listen? Now, this is the call I received from the Spring Boot application. That's really amazing. Okay, and this is the final application we built. And if you use the paid version from the till you can able to make a voice call of your message like whatever you want to make send a message like that. So that's it here. I have given you download the source code. If you want the source code, just click on this. So once you click on the download, you will redirect to my GitHub account. See here I have given all the codes. So what just what you need, you just clone it, clone it in your local if you want for any difference. Like if you step in any viewer, just you can get uh, some guidance from here. Apart from this, I have written the complete article step by step. So 
if you stack if you face any problem just go through this article it is i've written in a detail and you will able to learn and you will able to find out your problem very easily okay so that is all about the so that is all about how to make a voice call from the spring boot application to mobile phone so i hope you got to learn something new today and that's it thank you so much for watching this video goodbye